So there are definitely a lot of pros to being handsome, but as somebody who has increased their looks, their sex appeal, I can personally tell you that there are also cons to being handsome too that a lot of people don't realize. So in this video, I'm kind of going to tell you some of the cons that I've experienced while being objectively handsome men, all right? Subscribe, like the video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first con to being a handsome man that I've experienced is what I like to call the reverse halo effect. And that means that people associate negative characteristics about you and your personality versus positive. Now, if we look into the reverse, the actual halo effect, what that really means is that because you're attractive, people associate good things like you're confident, you're smart, you're outgoing, but people don't realize that the inverse is true too. Meaning people think you're arrogant, you're entitled, you're full of yourself, all of the above, I've heard it. And I've heard this a lot specifically on dates. And it's more when a woman has met me, they see how intelligent I am, charismatic, how I can hold a conversation. I always get this one thing, and that is, I wasn't expecting you to be like this because they associate just my Instagram presence and of course the way I look with being that of arrogance, entitled, full of myself. And they think that on the date, I'm just gonna be talking nonstop about myself, but they don't realize your boy got game, right? And I talked about this in my handsome man game video is that you need to play the humble game. And even if you are that way as a personality characteristic, you definitely cannot come off that way. So that's the first kind of I've realized is pretty much the reverse halo effect. And this doesn't go with just women, but also men too. People sometimes will associate you to like these negative characteristics. And when it comes to men in specific, they feel intimidated by you. Meaning like, it's like a competition. Like, who's this dude? You know, this guy thinks he's tough. Like, I'll beat his ass in a fight though. It's like that sort of energy whenever you meet a guy who doesn't really know you. So that's the first con I would say. Let's move on to number two. Now move on to number two. The second con is homosexual allegations, guys. So I've recently had this video going viral. It's basically a fake prank where the girl was coming up to my lap and acting like, oh, can I sit here? But instead, let me sit in your lap. And the point is, is for me to have some sort of reaction towards that. And I didn't react in which the normal populace would think a man would react, like being all flirty, sexual. I was like, oh, you know, get off my lap or whatever. It was a fake prank, guys. However, in the comments, all you see is, dude must be gay or, those dudes are dating or like just talking smack, right? And I told myself, I was like, it's because they think I'm attractive, right? Because if I was an ugly guy or like just an average looking guy, they would ha not have said that at all. And I've seen it in the video, like the guys who reacted like me, but necessarily didn't have like a look about myself or jewelry or whatever, they didn't say nothing about, oh, those dudes must be gay or whatever in the comments. And I've also noticed this too, I've been in more controversy of me and Jack and Stack talking about our take on black women and our experience with dating black women in our lives. And once again, in those comments, it was nothing but like, oh, those dudes are fruity, those dudes are zesty, your shirt's too far down, you're showing too much cleavage, you're showing more cleavage than a woman, you must be gay, blah, blah, blah consistently and ongoingly you might get homosexual allegations and that's for a man that just takes care of himself in general if you're a guy and you take care of yourself you have a good skincare routine you make sure your hair is done you got a nice beard you're always dressed up to nice and par some people may associate that oh he must play for the other team but that's not the case right so i'll say that's the second con that i've experienced in my life so speaking of skincare routine, you guys know I obviously take care of my skin, right? And in order to do that, I've been using today's sponsor, Teej Hanley. Teej Hanley is my go-to skincare system that I've been now using for, I've been saying three years, but it's pushing four years at this point in time, guys. And I love Teej Hanley because it's super easy to use. You get a great foundational skincare system that can be done for any man out there, including yourself. And I'm gonna tell you why I love it so much. So. There's multiple levels you can choose, right? Level two, level three, level four. I like level four because you get the most out of it. However, you can pick which one is best for you. With the level four system, you're gonna get a face cleanser, a gentle face cleanser that you're gonna use every single day, multiple times a day. You're gonna follow up with the super serum, which is gonna help avoid those fine lines and wrinkles. The eye serum, if you got any bags or dark marks under your eyes, is gonna help be proactive against that and not make it worse. And then simply you're gonna follow up with the moisturizers, right? The AM moisturizer you use during the daytime because it has SPF in it. And that's gonna help protect you 
against the sun's rays, harmful lights, and UV light. And then after that, at night, you're simply gonna use a PM moisturizer and you are good to go. And of course, you're gonna exfoliate, which is also within the T system too. It's super easy to use and you will see results as I have and thousands of other men. And now you can get your first T's box for 30% off alongside with the free gift, guys. It doesn't get any better than that. Go ahead and become a handsome man as I've become and use C Chanley. Link will be down below. So the next con to being a handsome man is that you are just simply way too intimidating. This is especially true when it comes to in real life. A girl might see you and think you're the most beautiful man she has ever seen and she will walk right past you like this. Not even make eye contact with you, not even look at you, not even address that you're in her presence at all. So that's the thing about being like sometimes like too handsome or like being too intimidating. It just comes with the territory. And that's when I've learned that even though you're handsome, it's now more on you to actually make that approach, make more connections because whether it be male or female, as I stated before, both genders are gonna be more intimidated by you and your presence. And I've noticed this in the gym too, right? Sometimes girls will look, but funny enough, the most people who look at me in the gym are actually dudes. Like just dudes like will stare. I'm not sure if they're like envious or like intimidated or maybe they might know me from YouTube, I'm not sure. But that's just been my experience. Like you can come off way too intimidating. And that's not only in real life, but it's also definitely online too. To the point where a lot of people might think you're fake if you're using online dating or might like even disqualify themselves and de-pedestalize themselves and pedestalize you for wanting to talk to a, somebody like them. You know, I get the example. What would a handsome guy like you be talking to a girl like me? You know, and the girl's like a solid eight, solid eight and a half. And I'm like, what do you mean? You know, so that either tells me they're not used to dealing with handsome men or just overall, there's not a lot of handsome men that they're seeing and that's going around, all right? So just be careful if you are facing that stuff and just realize too, you can come off way, way intimidating. Now the last downside to being a handsome man is not really like a certain point, but it's more like these certain niche scenarios. Meaning, example, let's say I'm in a two-man situation, right? Me and my friend, the girl I'm seeing and her friend. Sometimes, and I say this humbly, the girl expects my friend to be as handsome as myself. <laughs> I've been in cases and situations where if that's not the case, like it kind of ruins like the whole night or like the whole vibe. And like, I don't end up pulling back because, you know, she expected this or her friend doesn't want to go now because her friend expected me to have like super handsome friends across the board. And it's just like super niche scenarios that it can become like a problem. Another example is like, if I'm with my friends, and this happens with girls too, happens with guys and girls. If I'm with my friends and like, I've noticed that sometimes I'll be getting like most of the attention from like women outside or like most of the choosing singles or women approaching me or whatever, it like kind of comes off like weird, at least from my perspective, you know, like this guy in the friend group thinks he's all that or can kind of start like this sort of envious culture within your friend group. And I don't think guys are a lot like that. It's more definitely with women I've noticed, but it definitely can happen. And like the, the feeling can be weird um, according to who your friends are and who you surround yourself by because nobody wants to be like the oddball out of the group who's like getting no attention from women. And like, you don't want to go this place because you already know your handsome friends are going to get the most attention. So uh, I've dealt with some scenarios and situations like that. Or maybe even your friend uh, brings his girlfriend around and you got to be, you got to be, you got to be super, what's the word, Kenneth? <laughs> You gotta be a little conservative, a little bit more modest than what you usually are because, you know, it might come off a, a certain way. And it just comes with the territory of like being perceived as handsome to any degree. And some of these problems, I feel like a lot of people don't realize until you're in that position. And a lot of it really isn't problems. It's just overall some downsides that may come with the territory, all right? So I'm just speaking from my experience. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like the video. Let me know if you experienced any of these cons too. And stay subscribed because I'm gonna make a video. The pros to being handsome too because there are a lot of those, all right? See you guys in the next one. Peace.